this piece right here? Tyson just made his first part on that. And I wanted to give it to Charlie, the nicest guy in the entire industry. Hallelujah! Oh. What's up, Tyson? What's up? Oh, it's your first part. Man, you're like, you're like a, a man of experience now on this DMG <laughs> Mori, right? I know, just after a week. Oh, uh, NLX 2500. <laughs> That's a three inch diameter. Three inch, six AL, four V. Titanium. Yep. Oh. Eight inches long. Eight inches long. Look at the, the live tooling work right there. So basically this is all one operation. One up. We checked the surface finish. All right, so we're scribing across the surface and the reading is 25.1. That's crazy, right? <laughs> have you have you actually like deburred it or polished it or done anything? Nope. That's how it is off the, off the machine. Like boom. Boom. Oh, the machine look good. looks good over there with a the black wall. So we actually make your machine look really good. Look at that. Our wall matches your door. <laughs> and it matches your shirt. It's like color coordinated. It, it just makes the machine pop. The machine just pops. You're killed. Who does that? <laughs> Who does that? Dude. Those are some big life tools right there. Accidentally spun it around and it cleared, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Did you, were you breathing after that? I, I had to step away for a minute. <laughs> ah. So, can I see this thing spin? So look at the clearance. That's full wrap. Dang, <laughs> do that again, do that again. Oh, that's scary. That, that's, that's some big tools. That's when I accidentally did, did that and found out it cleared. <laughs> So what kind of what kind of cuts are you taking right now? Seventy thousand steps, 200, 250 surface footage for the OD roughing and awesome. finishing tools. Can you open the door and show us the tool you're talking about? Yeah. So this is this is the main OD tool using a DNMG insert, and that that's so I can do undercuts in the part and rough out as much as I can with it. That's roughing all of that yeah. right there. Boom, That'll boom, go boom. down there. Okay. You go down as much as I can and take care of that. Steps okay. down in there. When you change the insert, are you taking the the holder out or are you no, leaving just change, it in there? No, just changing the insert. But okay. After that, I groove it. So I got a few groovers in here. This this one does a couple of them. It's a 125 wide insert. I've roughed out some of this over here with the first tool, but it can't go down all the way, so it finishes up roughing here. Okay. And then it does the finish pass down here. Cool. And then it also finishes this middle groove right here. And this one's kind of neat because you can put like different blades or whatever. Like you have different groovers you can put in this one. Awesome. And then right after that, I have this full radius groover here. I think it's 157 wide, 79,000 radius. And that one comes down and does this, basically does this whole center of this part here. The machine is so dialed you can't even see the, uh, can't even see the mark there. You can't even, right? Like yeah. it's just perfect. That next finish tool finishes as much as the OD as it can here. So it comes across the top here, over here. And then like I said, it steps down over here and finishes the back end over here. What do you think about those Kenna Metal KM50 holders? Oh, they're great. I just pop, take it out real quick, pop it back in, and I don't have to retouch it off because it's all set. Yeah. The next tool, I've got a face screwdriver. So this holder here is actually the same grooving holder as this guy here. It's okay. just got a different cartridge here for the face grooving. Awesome. And then that one just comes in and just does as much as it can over here and finishes the inside. Just finishes everything on yeah. the inside. And that's those are some deep grooves, huh? So. Starts up here, roughs out as all of this, and then it finishes as much as it can. Finishes the top half, 
And it can't quite reach all the way to the bottom because of the cross in the way. Yeah. So it stops about right here. Okay, and then you bring in another tool? Then I bring the next tool in, which is this upside down boring bar. It's got a little bit of an angle to it. Why is it upside down? It's so that I can use it as an OD tool. Okay. So this guy... And then that one just comes in and rough, finishes roughing over here. And then does the finish pass. Matches up, blends in with the other blooper. And then after that we start milling. And then it's milling time. <laughs> so you used to just be the lathe guy. That's right. We'll probably do inking on all, all multi-axis surfacing. Who does that? Uh, you. <laughs> We're gonna do such crazy projects that literally just blow people's minds and then we're gonna make it easy. You know what I mean? But I promise you, we're not gonna play with these machines. Titanium, Monel, Inconel, Astroloy, you know what I mean? Like, it's gonna be good. So basically, yeah, how's the mill going then? No, it's great. So what, you're, how, I, so you got a couple different tools? Yeah. So we got tools? a uh, four flute carbian mill to do the, uh, to do the cross, okay. half inch. The profile on this side, step down on the other side. Awesome. And then face, do the face on this side. Cool. Then we have that long end mill over there. Yep. That comes down and does this. So your peripheral milling yep. on that one. That spindle right there goes at 10,000 RPMs and has some horsepower. I had, to, I had to get some pointers from you on how to mill, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right afterwards, we got the ball mill that does these guys here. Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. Well, thank you very much for uh, talking about the machine. Yeah, no how problem. about you show me the controls again? Let's, let's go look oh. at a few things. What do you want to see? So when you actually look at the controls and stuff, what is your favorite thing about them? Uh, I just, I think it's just very intuitive. And this all, this only shows like what comes up on the screen only shows up what's relevant to the mode you're in. So for the program, if I'm on auto mode, I have all my program controls like optional stop, lock, delete, drive, run, just what's relevant to that operation over here. Then if I go to jog mode. Now I have all my rapid accesses control. That's great, you don't have to worry about like a whole bunch of buttons all at once, you just have what you need here. So now that you ran a part, now that you ran all types of different tools, now you feel comfortable. Yep. Right, so now we're going on to an even harder part after this. Can't wait. You killed it, man. You <laughs> killed it. You, you killed it. At the end of the day, you have all of these guys trying to make parts for like SpaceX and Blue Origin and Aerojet and Virgin and who's training? Who's teaching? Nobody. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlie. Oh, thank you. It's like a trophy. <laughs> That's, That's a very first piece ran on that machine right there. That's awesome. Charlie. I'm really <laughs> impressed with the the level of programming and the level of work put into this workpiece. It's, it's pretty incredible. I'm, I'm really excited to get the first workpiece off of this machine. That's it. And we love you, man. Charlie. Everybody loves Charlie. You know what I mean? And there's the man right there, Tyson. <laughs> On the NLX 2500 TMG Mori. Your service guy came over here and like said some good things about Tyson, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. He said uh, it's one of the fastest learners he's ever had. I'm your dad, but I'm also your boss, and I'm just telling you, good job, man. Oh, thanks. All right? You did a great job. I love you, man. I'm proud of you. Love you, too. All right. Boom. Hold it up. Oh, we're out.